The idea of establishing a BRICS development bank was proposed in 2013. At the time, investors were divesting from emerging economies, and the U.S. indicated it would scale down its economic stimulus package. The proposal comes against the background of emerging nations complaining about bodies like the World Bank imposing belt-tightening policies in exchange for loans, while giving them little say in deciding terms. The BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa took action. The entity, to be called the New Development Bank, is the result. It aims to gain international influence by offering alternative financing to the World Bank and the IMF. Its main focus will be on BRICS infrastructure projects. It is important to develop industrial cooperation, launch new projects, including those in the advanced areas. There are many initiatives for mutual investment, many joint actions to develop trade and economic cooperation. The bloc will also consider creating a fund dubbed Mini-IMF. It's designed to serve as an emergency coffer if a BRICS member suffers capital flight or the risk of currency depreciation. One economist believes that institutions such as the World Bank have reached their peak. Some countries are reluctant to invest in it, hence the need for an institution like the BRICS one. In view of such a situation, we need more regional development banks to provide necessary financial support to countries that are short of funds. Financial assistance will be open to non-member states who are members of the United Nations. The first loan is to be made in 2016. A new bank governor will be re-elected every five years. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com